Good day, everyone. So this video is made for educational purposes only. As I required my students to do their gun chart using the choir.io for their project developments and thesis too. So as a beginner, I know that some of you are you know, having uh, difficulties in how to use the choir.io. So the purpose of this video is to guide you and experience the choir that IO features. So let's open the browser. First thing first, so we have to open the browser. And uh, let me share you. So we are now in the home page of the choir.io. So we need to log in. So welcome to the choir and now you can uh, log in here so there is a login button or you can start or you can uh, click this get started uh, button here it's free and then let's log in let's try this one okay so we have to use the email id and uh, password So you can now access the um, choir, okay? So first, uh, I have to click the task. Here's my task, okay? All the tasks. So that's the overview of all the tasks. So first, when you log in, okay, as what you have uh, seen in my screen that I have in an uh, existing uh, files here. Um, this is the work of one of my students. So if you are going to add the task, you have to click here at the workspace. So there is a plus sign there. So you have to click add and then add organization first. Okay. So it's good to have I create a organizations, okay? So you have to create an organizations like uh, IT company, IT expert. Okay, so that's the organization's name. So we have to create. And then here in the organizations, is you have to create a project okay so in that specific organizations there is what we call project okay so we have to create a project so uh in that our uh, project uh meron tayong tinatawag na ano so um example lang uh we base So this is the example of a project. Okay, so create. So for that, uh, we have here a sample, uh, no, a choices here, but we have to create a new one, like black, blank uh, project. So we have to create this one. So we are now in the project uh, task. Okay, so first, uh, we have to create a task. So first, since the we have to, uh, what we call this one, we have to divide it, the task, okay? Example, uh, your task one is that a um, login, then as what you have observed here, at the right side, there is a plus sign, okay? So meaning you have to add the task. So you have to click the add task, so filing. Okay. So okay. 
In this case, we have a two task. So, in a login, okay, so I need to add a sub task here in the login. So, you only have to do is to click this add sub task. You have to click this one and then here you go. So, in the login, uh, what we call, uh, let's add. Um, admin or yung administrator next enter and then we have to add a client so example lang. so there are two types of login client and the admin so after you creating the subtask so you you can move uh, this uh, freely so a anywhere okay so it's up to you okay so there's an arrow there okay you have to click that to minimize the items next we can do also uh, assigning this task to someone else okay so these are the example. So you click this one to assign the specific members kung saan po natin i-assign niya siya. So example here is that I assign to this person and uh, also the deadline for this, uh, let's say next week, okay, the deadline. And then we have to add the tag also here. So we have to add the tag. Or next is that what we have observed here is there is an arrow up. So this is to define the priority. Okay. So urgent, high, medium, and low. So let's say this is an urgent or okay, urgent. And then the client here. Is also the or the admin is the urgent, but this is low priority, okay? So it's not really important. So in profiling, uh, let's say also this is a priority, okay? Urgent. The next one is that functions here. Example, you can also click here to mark as complete, okay? So to mark this as complete. So after that functions, as what you have observed here and the overview, you have to click this one tab. Okay. There is the statistics. Okay. So um, this is like a really uh, perfect and that's really easy to use. And then you're going to see the overview here. And also the progress statistics here, okay. Down here, and then the recent activities and all of the stats that are really important. That is how we do it here, okay. So this is uh, how you can uh, simply use the core that IO. So next. We have to add a members here, okay? So let's go back the organizations, okay? And then we have to look for um, base scheduling system, okay? So let's have to minimize all the tasks here. In what we have observed here is we have here the IT expert, meaning this is the uh, color green. This is the active. So when you click this one, it's automatically proceed here. This is the front page of these uh, organizations. So you can add as many as you can in the project uh, here in the add project button. Then uh, next is that you have to add a member here, okay? So here we have a member, 
and then sittings here and then you have to invite persons or you have to invite a team or your classmates or the teachers okay so in this portion uh you can write or add, uh invite persons here so you have to you have to type the email address here and then you have to sit as admin or a normal or a limited access or a guest okay but uh, i suggest you have to uh, assign to them as an admin so that they can modify anytime or you can uh, say you have to work uh, anytime okay so when you done here okay you have to close this one and then assign and then it's automatically send invitation to the uh, respective teams or the members okay so that's it okay i hope that you appreciate uh, this uh, tutorial and then uh, thank you so much for watching if you have any questions uh, just uh, write your message in the comment sections below and that uh, I am happy that you really enjoyed this video. Please support and uh, subscribe. Thank you and have a great day and goodbye.